Retail wrap number 25. I am in self-isolation, but not because I have to be. It's because the team doesn't want to actually have to listen to me talk. Just here with a few of my friends. So let's get straight into a Corona Rush update. <laughs> Aren't things looking a whole lot different in the retail landscape? So interstate and overseas travel has totally been banned. Our borders you cannot cross without certain checkpoints. And they're actually checking to see if you're actually at home because you're meant to be in isolation just for crossing the border. Unfortunately, thousands of businesses have lost their livelihoods. And this in turn is leading to huge unemployment. And some of you would have seen some of the scenes with the Centrelink with the lines up. These are tragic scenes and there's no doubt there's going to be some very tough times ahead. And we're starting to see that. This is only the beginning. And the government is doing the best thing they possibly can by introducing measures like self-distancing and stop social gathering. But people really need to understand, they need to make sure they are listening to what has been told and actually doing something about it. Because we are in for an interesting few months. We're at level two at the moment and there's no doubt that things are gonna get a whole lot worse. And we're giving the opportunity to have a bit of common sense, but everyone needs to play their part and listen to what we're actually being told to do. Because if you don't do that, the more serious part to this is total lockdown and that will be catastrophic for the financial future of this country. As you've been aware, there's been some crazy scenes within the supermarkets and some scenes that I'm definitely not proud to say I've seen in my lifetime. People fighting over toilet paper, it's absolutely ridiculous. We've had so much verbal abuse going our way to staff and I'd like to say we're in week two now of Corona Rush and it feels like things are getting a little bit more stable. People are now starting to understand and understand that you can't be treating our staff with any disrespect by verbally abusing them and we have made a stance on this and it's great to see we're not the only ones putting our foot down in these crazy times. Stock is hitting the shelves and we were really lucky that we had a warehouse with too much stock in it so we sort of held the brunt of that for quite a long time and it's fair to say our Drake supermarkets are looking better than any other supermarket out there. Yes there are some gaps around the place but we're just going to have to learn to adapt to the situation that we're dealt with and the hand sanitizers, the liquid soaps, the cleaning goods now and the toilet paper is always going to be the interesting one. I mean everyone's seen the memes that toilet papers are like gold nuggets out there. To this day, I still don't know what everyone is doing with this toilet paper. We've got a toilet paper calculator link. I want you to put your numbers in below so we can see in the comments exactly how much toilet paper the people watching this are holding onto or sitting on. Businesses should be doing everything they can, especially businesses in retail on the front line, to making sure our stores are sanitised as possible. In a world first in supermarkets, we've used a product called Nano Sin, which is a misty type spray that you spray all over your trolleys, all your high touch points, your front ends, your trolleys and your baskets. And this product within seconds dries up and kills 99.9% .9 of pathogens and bacteria, which is amazing. So we just started rolling that across all of our stores, our head office and our warehouse. So we're super excited to be involved with this product. And the best part is, it's actually chemical free, which is hard to believe. I was a little bit skeptical, but it's got TGA approval and it's a fantastic product. So we're really excited to be having this as one of those things we are doing to keep our stores safe for our customers and for our staff. We put this clip out recently and we're just going to have a bit of a chat to a few of our staff to see how they're feeling. Uh, pretty exhausted after, you know, all this time. Oh, overwhelmed, I am just tired, I'm done. Yeah, you're exhausted? Exhausted. I'm feeling good, but I must say I'm just, I think I'm really, really exhausted. Yeah. We understand that people are scared, but we just ask that you show a bit of love, respect and patience in this very crazy time. I really would like to thank all of our team and let's face it, every single person in retail that has been absolutely belted and our suppliers of 
you know what, some of our suppliers have come to the party and actually helped out as much as humanly possible and we really do appreciate that. We've, been, we've seen unprecedented times going on at the moment and this doesn't look like it's going away in the near future. So there's going to be some more craziness ahead and really do appreciate every single person that has helped because we are all in this together. So there you have it, week two of Corona Rush. Crazy times happening. There's so much happening. The supermarket game is definitely alive and well. And unfortunately, that's not the case with other industries out there. There has definitely been some tragic situations out there. And unfortunately, this is only the beginning. There are measures that we can take to make sure we are monitoring ourselves. It starts with you first, each and every single one of you first. Making sure we're not gathering in big places, making sure we are washing our hands, we're sanitising. We are doing everything that we can to make sure we don't spread this virus. And there's no doubt there's going to be a lot more people in self-isolation. And if you're in self-isolation, have I got the thing for you. If you go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel, there's plenty of content there to keep you amused for hours and hours. And in fact, some people have said it's the best thing they have ever done is subscribing to my YouTube channel. And all of the guys here, they're all agreeing with me. They're excited. Their heads are definitely saying, yes, it is the best thing. So I'm asking you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We do put different bits of footage on there and we are putting selected footage on the YouTube channel as well. So if you do have a bit of time up your sleeves and you are at home, it's definitely something for you. So in the meantime, look after yourself. Please put that, please. I don't think I was ready to do that. I'm not, I don't want to film now. Can we do it later? The whole lot. No, God! No, God, please, no, no! All right, guys, so, um, so, what do you think we should do? Um, you know, you know, you, 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 oh, you want me to scratch your face? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Can't scratch your face, you know? Hey, hey, oh, guys, one and a half meters here, come on. You guys, I told you, I've told you once, I've told you twice. I've told you one and a half meters before. All right. Oh, maybe we subscribe to JP's YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah, it's a good idea. Good idea, guys. I'll set you up your own account. Just in case anyone hasn't uh, figured out that they need to be subscribing to JP's YouTube channel. Okay. Oh, JP's TikTok. All right. Yeah, yeah that's TikTok. What do you think, guys?